What is up everyone? So I'm a tr I got this little beat here. I'm still working on it. Still mixing it, still finalizing some things, maybe adding in a couple other things. Uh, kind of showing you guys what this mix kind of is all looking like. You could kind of see all the effects I got. I even got a whole master channel uh, going on. So let's meet all this first. Let's see what this sounds like. Actually, it doesn't sound that bad with all the master uh, muted. Now, I don't think. Uh, I think this was supposed to have a uh, low pass filter actually. All right, so that doesn't matter. Um, Essentially what I want to kind of cover in this video. I don't know why I just got distracted trying to cover trying to figure out that effect um, But what I want to kind of show you guys is how I would EQ um, And kind of mix my beats. So this is actually going to give you a more uh, closer insight of everything So uh, just for the sake of it. I'm gonna actually play a segment of the beat with the master channel on uh, Just for shits and giggles so we're going to pull all the way just right here. So I'm going to play this part. So now without the master, So that's not, I, I didn't play the full thing, but it's honestly not that bad. So what I kind of want to discuss is how uh, you all could or should EQ. Actually, should is not the right word. Um, because this is still not a 100% finished product. However, I could still show you the approach that I'm going through. So let's pull up this piano. So these are both going through four. Let's just mute one of them. Okay, so this is just like a ambient sound. Mm -hmm. Now here's the piano. Oh, whoops. So 
So here's the EQ. I'm gonna turn off the reverb and I'm gonna turn off the EQ. With EQ. Without EQ. In my opinion, I think it's a little muddy without the EQ. So with the EQ kind of cleans it up a bit. Now I'm using headphones right now. I'm not using my uh, monitors. So, excuse me, I don't have the best representation of sound coming through. So it's not the most balanced sound. My headphones, I think, uh, kind of have a little bit boost in, in that low end. Um, or something so it, I don't get the best uh, clarity so that's why I kind of don't want to finish this beat until I get back to the studio I'm out of I'm out and about right now so I'm not sitting in the studio where I have the monitors playing and such um, now with that reverb we get this like a little bit space We get a little bit more space in there. Now I added this additional, which is Omnisphere, and it's just a pad. And now I screwed up because I clicked it, and Omnisphere is going to take five minutes to pull up. So let's just sit and wait. Because if I click, the computer's going to get mad and freeze up and crash. <sighs> just give it a second. It's loading. Don't rush it. Okay, maybe I'm tweaking. Maybe I, I. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. So. The pad, I want. You can see I pulled down that channel volume a whole lot because I just wanted it very subtly. Um, now, what else can we look at? Um, let's look in this Alicia Keys, which is Addictive Keys and Alicia Keys, and they're going to the same. We're going 19. Oh man, we got a lot of stuff on this. Good. Now we can see. So we have that delay. Let's stare. So let's kind of, and I'm not, as you can see, I'm not boosting it a whole lot. I think what a lot of people are doing is they're boosting the EQ, like, blah, like all the way up here, because they can't hear it, or um, it doesn't sound loud enough. Don't do that. The EQ is not meant to just blast your um, volume. Use a, I mean, pull up on the mixer, or use a compressor, I mean limiter, and just pull the gain up um, if you're really needing to do that. Um, I mean, I wouldn't, don't, the EQ is to manipulate frequencies, usually to cut. So if I cut that low end out for that piano, it allows more room for upper harmonics to come through. So it's kind of like, yeah, I mean, that's essentially all it is. I was going to try to figure out a, a way to explain that further, but I, I really think that's as simple as it can really get. I mean, you leave more room for sound to go to other openings. You know what I mean? You should. Um, and so, then I have a FET compressor, FET compressor. Honestly, I just kind of use a, uh, a template for this, and it kind of just sounds decently nice. It's probably a little over compressed but I'm gonna worry about technicalities when I do the final mix on monitors uh, but I'm just wanting to show you guys because I've seen some really wacky EQs and I just want to uh, let you all know you don't need to do that now we also do have oh no we have all the master turned off now here's what everything sounds like without a master I don't usually, and the master I do have is also rough. So I know this is also just a very odd um, explanation and um, 
show off because I'm pretty much showing off something I'm not done with. But I also think this is a most organic way since I can actually show you the process of how I'm going through developing this. Um, so with the EQ, I just got for the master, I'm just rolling off like a little bit of uh, the super, super low and super, super high. Just don't need them. Uh, not necessarily. And then like a slight boost and like, let's do that like right there. The sound goodizer, you guys know I kind of been using this a lot lately, but it's like so freaking subtle that I just said freaking wow, I feel like a third grader. Um, uh, it's just so subtle that it, it doesn't even really do anything. Um, isotope, imager, this is just a very lazy image um, a system that I do to kind of like spread the sound. Um, that's very lazy of the setup that I got going on with that, but now I'm just gonna turn on everything else. I got a lot of limiters, and so these limiters are pulling up the audio. So now let's listen to it. That sounds clean. And that's with the master on. Master off. Like you can always hear there's like some like thickness in the lower end where it just almost sounds muddy, but we kind of clean it all up after the master. Now you want to do the master at the very end. That's how you always want to do it. Um, I kind of just threw on this master so I could send it to an artist and then we're going to do post-production. So it's kind of a very weird ambiguity system, not ambiguity, but like we're in this weird thing where we got a very rough mix a rough master send it all to artists as if it's a finished beat he's going to come into the studio we're going to record and then we're going to fix it after that so that's the whole purpose of this beat um but now it just sounds a whole lot cleaner so like you guys don't need to there's a lot more steps going on so you don't need to do everything in one Thing. So don't let the EQ do everything for you. The EQ is just to clean up the sound, take out the shit, and then the compressor is gonna try to bring up the good stuff because you just cut out the shit with the EQ, and then the compressor is gonna try to uh, boost it, the good stuff, and still cutting out the bad stuff. Um, and that's just a rough idea of it. This isn't so much of a tutorial on uh, the mixing. It's kind of just, I want to tell you guys um, the functionality of it. Now there's no true right or wrong way, but you're going to find it. It's a whole lot easier. Just use what they are meant for. Use the EQ, just cut out the shit. Use a limiter or compressor to bring up the good stuff because that's essentially you're wanting to compress it and just solidify it uh, push out that bad the bad harmonics the bad frequencies and then when we get down and then after that when you start getting a closer representation of the clear crisp sound that you're wanting or whatever whatever sound you're wanting then you start tossing on the effects like we got the delay a uh, little bit stereo enhancer and then grow speed etc 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 um i always do the eq first and of course when i say that it's not first on this one so um I mean, we can just see the soft clipper i don't we don't even have that on there so i mean yeah this is just a very uh um, quick rundown i know this might not help everyone but i think it will help some um, gonna have to figure out a title for this video since it's not a direct tutorial, but hopefully this, I mean, we have this EQ right here. I mean, this is like a massive cut. Where the hell is this even at? Piano hits. I don't even know where this is at. Interesting. Okay, so this is, uh, of course, when I say this is a bad example of 
AQing. I actually did not do this EQ. So we don't need to do all that. So now we get kind of like a little bit cleaner representation. That sounded really f goofy earlier. Like there's no harmonics, there's no purpose to boost up here. So I think that was someone else that worked on this beat. So, which would be Tony, <laughs> but that's, that's whatever. So we just fixed that. So now we got a little bit cleaner. I know if you guys might have seen my earlier videos, like I'm talking about like one or two years, I might have done more, more boosting than I do now, but I'm telling you what, I don't even focus on um, boosting uh, EQ, through the EQ. I just don't think it's the right way to go. I, I mean, it's the EQ is meant to cut. So I like to do strictly cut. Now there is a little boost. I do. It's not the fact that I don't do any boosting because as you guys seen, I do do some especially with kicks and 808s I might do like a little bump um will not up so let's pull up a kick yeah you see I got a little boost right here like but it's not by much so I mean that that's it really I just kind of want to tell you guys and show you uh some ways on EQing I know not everyone really shows or explains it so I know there's a lot of rambling in this video and a lot of uh, repeating, but hopefully some something can be taken out of this. So I'll talk to you guys later. Um, if you guys need any questions, be sure to leave a comment or um, message me through my social medias. Uh, Beta eight, we got uh, all the social media handles are down in the description. All that stuff, all the contact, all the download links, yada yada always in the description. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.